Welcome to Monday's Mental Mistakes. This week we're looking at hindsight bias. Hindsight bias is the tendency to see events as more predictable than they are. That is, we tend to see past events as less random than they actually were. Hindsight bias makes us more likely to overestimate how foreseeable random events were. At the same time, we are unlikely to appreciate good decisions that simply mispredicted past events. Here's a simple example. There's been extensive psychological research into factors contributing to attraction in intimate relationships. Many experiments have been conducted, and while there is always individual variation, it seems clear that when seeking partners, most people are attracted to people who are quite dissimilar to themselves. This is often called the opposites attract hypothesis. How surprising do you find this piece of psychological research? If you didn't find it surprising at all, then congratulations. You suffer from hindsight bias, like the rest of us. The problem here is that roughly 80% of people report this result as unsurprising. However, if we tell people that research actually shows that people are actually attracted to people who are similar, the birds of a feather hypothesis, the same percentage, about 80%, report it as unsurprising. No matter what the actual research result is alleged to be, most people don't find the outcome surprising. This sense of having known it all along is the hindsight bias. The principal way to counter hindsight bias is to consider alternatives. So in the example before, when asked how surprising it is that people would be attracted to dissimilar partners, we need to also consider how surprising it would have been had it found that people are attracted to similar partners, or that no such pattern of attraction was found. Only by considering all the possibilities can we reduce our hindsight bias. One area where hindsight bias plays a major role is in attributing blame for people's actions. This occurs commonly in law, where whether someone is negligent, or how liable they are for the harm they caused, is often calibrated to how foreseeable the consequences of their actions were. Unfortunately, when an outcome is negative, the hindsight bias makes us see the person as having been more negligent as they should have predicted the outcome. For example, in research into medical malpractice, people who are told only the actions that the doctor took are far more likely to see them as having been reasonable, compared to people who are also told that there was a bad outcome for the patient. If we know that things went wrong, we can't help but see this as more foreseeable. There are two different ways in which hindsight bias can manifest itself. The first, which our examples are focused on, is when we are judging how foreseeable a particular event was after the fact. In these cases, we already know what happened, and this colours our estimates of how predictable it was. The other way that hindsight bias can manifest is when we have already made a prediction, and then we misremember our prediction after we then find out the real outcome. For example, when taking exams or participating in a quiz night, it's common when finding out the right answer to have the sense of having known it all along, even though we answered it incorrectly. Similarly, research that recorded people's predictions, both before and after an event, find that a much higher percentage of people will claim to have accurately predicted the outcome after the event than before. That is, if 30% correctly predicted the outcome of a sporting event before a match, when resurveyed after the match, say 60% might claim to have accurately predicted the result. Part of this is caused by actual inaccuracies in our memories, rather than just lying. So part of the hindsight bias is misremembering ourselves as more accurate in our predictions than we really are. In conclusion, hindsight bias is the tendency to see past events as more predictable than they actually were. Until next week, may your mental mistakes be minor.